When you know you are dealing with something and you want to see it come to an end, you're not praying wishfully. You're not praying, if God hear it, let him hear it. I believe God wants to answer this prayer by, to anybody on the earth that calls on his name. Every believer. God wants to turn every weakness to strength. I don't think that God wants to, you know, because sometimes I say, oh, I don't think God wants to. No, God certainly wants to answer that prayer. Jesus said, pray ye that the Lord will send more laborers into the harvest. The harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. So God is really interested in making men strong out of their weakness. So God is interested in that prayer. Don't think, oh, will God hear me? Or, no, he, won't. he is going to hear you. He's going to hear you. But you have to know, you have to be determined that the answer will come. God knows when your heart is, the Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Those that come to him must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So our heart must be made up. That father, I mean business with you. I'm not trying to joke. I'm not trying to see whether you answer this prayer. Lord, I know you want to answer this prayer. And I'm ready for you to answer this prayer. I am ready. So there was Jesus in the night praying all night. Our brothers Peter, James and John were lovingly asleep. They were slumbering in the presence of God. But the Bible says as Jesus prayed. As he prayed. He was changed. He was changed. What does that mean? God is looking for that person that really, Lord, I mean this business with you. I'm not trying to joke. I really mean it, oh God. And I can tell you that when a man, I, I, I've experienced this first time. When a man means business with God, can, you, God is not coming to move. He's coming that moment. He's coming that moment. But you really need to mean that business. You really, really, really need. So as Jesus prayed, the Bible said he was changed. Sometimes we, we stand up and pray and say, yeah, God has heard me. Yeah, I, I will know maybe, uh, maybe later today or, or when. No, he said as he prayed, he was changed. This year, let us travel further in our prayer life. Let's travel beyond speaking, you know, in tongues and just say, let's watch the time. Oh, okay, 30 minutes is gone. Let me endure for another 15 minutes. That's good. No. Pray till you are changed. Pray till you are transfigured. Pray till you begin to prophesy. Pray be, till you begin to see vision. Pray be, till you begin to see something happen in your spirit. You know that something has happened. You're not, you're not trying to force it. You know something has happened. It's either we are praying or we are fainting. It's either we are praying or we are fainting. For the one that faints, he remains weak. For the one that prays, though he was weak, he will come out strong. So in every situation of life, we are faced with two options. We are either fainting or we are praying. And the more you pray, the more you are changed. The more you pray, the more you are changed. So Jesus here, he prayed. His face was changed. His clothings were changed. And he began, to he began to interact with Moses and Elijah. They spoke to him about the things to come. 